All right, from an anatomical reference perspective, it's important to understand our anatomy a little bit. So this is referred to as the dorsum of the foot, the plantar aspect of the foot, the bottom of the foot, the medial aspect with the medial malleolus, the lateral aspect or the lateral malleolus, inversion, up and in, eversion, up and out, plantar flexion, down, and then dorsiflexion, up. All right, so begin by inspecting the skin for any abrasions or any cuts or lacerations. Basically, most of the um, ankle sprains are in nature of plantar flexion and inversion. So what you wanted to do is put them into a dorsiflexion neutral with slight eversion into that direction there and instruct the client to keep the ankle in that position. When you're taping the individual, you want to make sure that their leg is hanging off the edge of the table to give you enough room to be able to tape. Apply the spray. Use of the heel and lace pads for the front and back. The height in which you tape will be basically just below the muscle belly. That's the length of the air tape draw that you're applying. So this goes on just a little lower. making sure that there are no rolls folding in it. Three anchors across the top. One anchor across the bottom, locating the base of the fifth metatarsal, laying it there, splaying. This bottom hand presses the into the metatarsals, try to splay the foot so that you do have a little bit of play within the tape as the foot steps down. Three stirrups starting from the inside going to the outside, keeping that ankle in a dorsiflex position. First strip goes middle, underneath the calcaneus, and straight up that way. Next one starts anteriorly, crosses at the bottom of the foot, same spot here, and ends posteriorly where you give a bit of a tug in this direction there. And third one, start posterior and end slightly in the front here. The next step is the one that really gets a lot of people and that's the half heel lock. You're starting from the inside, going across the top of the ankle, coming behind underneath the heel, crossing in the same area, and then finishing up the lateral aspect. We're going to go across the top, finding that lateral malleolus on the outside, covering it a bit, coming behind the heel, across the Achilles, underneath the heel, then up the lateral aspect. You'll repeat that two times. Close it up, overlapping by a half. Again, these bottom ones on the feet, you don't want to lay them down too tight. Final stage is a double half heel lock. So again, coming from the same start as the first one, coming down around and up. Instead of finishing up the ladder aspect, we're gonna come back across the ankle and just do the reverse. So we're setting ourselves up for a half heel lock, same position. Instead of angling to go up 
with the lateral aspect. We're going to come across the front of the ankle there. I'm going to go behind the heel to finish up the, the medial aspect. That's your double half heel lock. You want to anchor at the top to tie everything else. Checking the bottom. Final inspection to make sure that there are no windows or openings for the tape and that you've got a good support. And then just testing the motion of inversion to see if they, they should feel that there's some, some resistance.